interesting story today, guys. Um, Justin Bieber's dad, Jeremy Bieber is his name, posted something on his Instagram story today, which has the LGBTQ in a frenzy. I guess Justin Bieber's dad is, you know, um, I'm not going to say a man's man. I'm just going to say a man. You know what I mean? Uh, Taught his son how to be a man. Or I don't even know if he taught his son how to be a man, but he's a man. You get what I'm saying? And as far as when it it comes to his son, he says different things like a man would say to his son, I guess. And you can tell that from just this clip right here with Justin Bieber talking about him putting on makeup. I have to put makeup on me before doing like events and shows and stuff. When's My dad's still tripping. He's like, you shouldn't be wearing makeup. You're a man. You shouldn't be wearing makeup. You're a man, is what his dad said. So his dad posted on Instagram today. This is what he posted. Don't forget to thank a straight person this month for your existence. And you can guess. This has the people in a frenzy ladies and gentlemen this has justin bieber trending on twitter right they'll attack his son for something he does that's that's how crazy these love and love people get you go to his comments and they all they in his comments going crazy for your fault justin is being dragged on twitter what would i tell you you deadbeat dad stealing your son's money and living off of it. Your comment was perfect. No lies detected. The LGBTQ, the LGBT community owes you straight people nothing, but you owe us respect. Is that, what? how one-sided is this? So, we don't we don't deserve respect because we're straight. We're normally how God created human beings, so we don't deserve respect, but we need to give respect. I'm just like I'm scratching my head. I'm scratching my head emoji. This is where some of their logic is. Because it's it's something else that they come into agreement with. Weren't you the one in jail when Justin was born? They try to attack so low. So you can feel a shame. So you can feel like you're under a rock. This is what these people do. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Those that are coming into just coming into agreement with evil and manifesting, you know, they say things like this to get under your skin. They say the most evil things they can possibly find about you. That is that's that's mean in a, a different way. It's a sick type of mean. Ignorance is attractive. Do be- isn't ignorance isn't attractive. Do better. Ignorance. All the man said was thank a straight person for your existence. Make sure to thank your son for your bills paid and his mother for raising the son you were too lazy to raise. Jeez Louise. Said the straight guy who abandoned his son. Wow, an absent father talking like that. Shame on you. Look at all this tolerant left comments. Yeah, this all this love is love. My biological mom is a lesbian and my biological dad is gay, so I'm thankful for my LGBTQIA parents. Your comment was ignorant. Clearly they weren't gay when they had you, my friend. Or they must have been on the low. Don't forget to thank Justin Bieber this month for your paid bills people acting like it's it's, it's a bad thing to, to have a child and their child take care of them are these are these the main threats that they're telling this man like justin bieber's taking care of you blah like okay he's a pop star he's a millionaire i'm sure he is taking care of his dad people don't like the truth don't let anyone tell you otherwise facts no one is going to thank a straight person for the existence of the LGBTQ community. We've always existed. Y'all just never knew. Stop spreading dumb. You're a father of one of the biggest pop stars. Act like one. So no one's going to thank a straight person for the existence of the LGBTQ community. He's just talking about because you've been born. My friend. 
boy oh boy guys i have news for you and the people that call this love is love stuff it's much deeper than that spiritually that's why it's never enough that's why there's always an alphabet getting getting at it it's never enough a day wasn't enough a month needed to be at it parades weren't enough schools had to get in infiltrated that wasn't enough Almost every big social platform, almost every big company has to put the rainbow on their on their signs. That wasn't enough. Football, uh, different sports teams got to wear something where it agrees with it. That's not enough. This isn't enough. That isn't enough. When will it be enough? It won't be enough because it's deeper spiritually. And, what's, and what you're feeding when you give into this, you're feeding what's, you're feeding the spirit that is involved with this. So it will never be enough because those people in the flesh think they want it, think they want it, and they're getting it, and they're getting it, but their appetite is never satisfied because it goes deeper spiritually. Do you hear what I'm saying? It goes deeper spiritually, so their appetite is not going to be satisfied. They're going to want to continue to have more and more and more and more until the whole world is just a rainbow. And even then, it's still not going to be enough. My hat goes off to Justin Bieber's dad and every and, and anybody who wants to think a straight person that you're here today. Or you could have just said, think a biological woman that you're here today. Think a biological woman and a biological male that you're here today. Simple. Facts shouldn't be things that people get upset about. That's where we're at, where people are getting upset because of facts. When a fact can make you upset, you are somewhere twisted emotionally. And you need to come out of it. Light needs to be shown on you. Even people who are in that community, when you see things like everybody in that community isn't like this. And some of them look at stuff like this like, yeah, that's that's you're going a little too far. You're going a little too far. It's a little too much. Like it's not that serious. But it's those who continue to go deeper and deeper coming into agreement more and more with something on the other side. Let's let's call it how it is. With something on the other side, they're going deeper and deeper and it's getting fed more and more. That's where we're at. That's why they can call love is love when truth be told, God is love. Love without God is just a word, a four-letter word. And interesting how they're celebrating Pride Month, and pride is a sin. Interesting how in the middle of Pride Month, it spells demon. You think this is all just a coincidence, people? Wake up and smell the roses. God is not playing out here. And I pray for people in that community. I pray people there begin to see light. I pray the Lord work work on their hearts. Amen. I don't hate any of them. I love them, genuinely love them, and I want to see them come into the kingdom. I want to see them be freed, just like I want to see everyone else be freed. (sighs) My desire is not to see them hurt. My desire is not to see them sad. My desire is to see them in the kingdom of God. My desire is is to see them free from their spiritual bondage, and I pray that's yours too. Amen. For them to come into the will of God and for them to step into their true purpose And only then will they really know who they are. None of this, I was born this way. It's not true. And even if you think that, the Lord said be born again from above. Leave the carnal nature, leave the flesh, and step into the kingdom of God. Step into your true purpose. And really find out who you are as a child of God. You got this, my friend. Take dominion and authority over what's trying to hold you down. Come out of the perspective of being in the flesh and look from the outside in and realize it's a spiritual war. And a lot of us are losing. But I pray for you to come into acknowledgement of the Lord and begin winning, begin taking dominion, begin taking authority. Hallelujah. Even you guys watching right now. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.